On January 15, 1968, inside a quiet training room, astronaut John W. Young sat in the Apollo Command Module Simulator at NASA. Out of view, Commander Thomas P. Stafford and Lunar Module Pilot Eugene A. Kernan. Together, they prepared for a mission not yet destined for the moon, but meant to pave the way. For over 300 hours, this crew practiced every switch flip and checklist, even rehearsing emergency scenarios, preparing for humanity's first lunar landing. Apollo 10 wasn't just training. It was the final dress rehearsal. Flying the command module, Charlie Brown, and lunar module, Snoopy, to within nine miles of the moon's surface, all without touching down. Inside that simulator, John Young, Stafford, and Cernan were sculpting history, building the confidence and skills NASA needed to land humans on the moon. Their relentless training paved the way for Apollo 11, and forever changed how we operate in space. These three weren't just astronauts, they were the architects of history.